If you are watching this video and you notice the screen, this is how our internet is growing each and every second. With each new website or each new user, the amount of content on the internet is increasing. So how do you decide what to consume and what not to consume? What if I told you there was an easy and healthy way to consume content on the internet? Hey guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to One Thing to Share. And as you can see, I'm outside, I'm outside in my balcony recording today's episode. And it's because it's a beautiful day, you can see the clouds. It's so nice outside and I couldn't pass out this opportunity to record. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I just started and I hope you guys come along with me. And if you're on Facebook, like my page and share this video if you like it. So today's video is about different forms of content and specifically about audio form of content. Let's wait for the wind. I'm sorry, on this episode there might be a lot of wind. The train station is near my house, so the train might be going by and there might be a bit of a noise. So I'm sorry about that, let's try to ignore it because it's such a beautiful day. Okay. Six and a half hours late. Today's episode is about audio form of content and how podcasts can help you consume content in a healthier way and how it can help you save a lot of time. So for the past few months, I have been listening to podcasts and it has saved me a lot of time. I don't mindlessly scroll Facebook or get lost in social media. I save a lot of time and I consume a lot of content that helps me in my daily life. And I think podcasts can help you guys out if you start listening to them. So in this episode of One Thing Which I'm gonna share three reasons on why you should listen to podcasts. So let's get to the reasons. So reason number one, podcasts are really flexible. You can listen to them whenever you want because it's audio form of content you're not confined to just looking at your screen you can just put on your headphones and keep on listening it doesn't matter when you're listening you're running you're walking on your commute and it's a great way to consume content while you are on your way to your work or while you're running and i have been doing that i used to run last month and while running i used to listen to a podcast or now when i'm going to my workplace i listen to a podcast and i go to my workplace every day and it takes about 30 minutes and those 30 minutes of commute in the morning and when i'm coming back in the evening i try to pair it with a podcast and it helps a lot reason number two when you're listening to podcast it doesn't matter what device you're using you can listen to a podcast on your phone on your laptop on a tablet or any electronic device that can play audio and the great thing about podcast is it doesn't matter if you use a expensive phone a phone with a lot of features or you're just using a dumb phone a normal phone because it's just audio form of content the quality won't be shattered if you're using a normal phone reason number three is that podcasts help you save a lot of time so when you're listening to podcasts you can pick up a particular category and stay updated on that particular category every day for a specific amount of time on in case of facebook or instagram or you're watching youtube videos what happens is you start watching a video or a post and you keep on going on and you, you lose track when you started but with a podcast you can fix a specific time and listen to it and it's done and while you're listening to it, you can do other things like cooking like eating like running as i've stated so a really great way of consuming content while also not wasting a lot of time and that has helped me a lot so i have stopped watching enormous amount of youtube videos or scrolling facebook i now focus on learning through podcasts before ending the video i also want to give one bonus tip that is if you also like audio form of content and you're someone who's not good at reading books like me you can go find the app audible so what audible does is that it puts all your all the favorite books you want to read in audio form of content for me someone like me i don't specifically like like reading i get bored or i stop reading after a specific amount of time and there is a countless amount of books that I've started but I have never completed. But in terms of podcasts, I start them and finish them. I don't really get into the thought of how long will it take me to finish it because I'm doing it pairing, pairing or listening to podcasts with some other activity. So what happens is that I don't realize how much time I'm giving to podcasts. But when I'm reading a book, I see that I'm reading a book and I see the amount of pages that are remaining and I kind of lose the motivation to read the book. So that's another great thing you can do. Listen to audiobooks. Audiobooks can help you do the same thing as reading books. Thanks for watching the video. It's, it was a different kind of video compared to my other one thing to share. I'm sitting outside. Hope you guys like the video. Hope it brings value to you. And if you guys are someone who are already listening to podcasts, leave in the comments below what podcast are you listening to. Maybe it might be something that I'm interested in. And I'm also going to uh, put podcasts that myself like and listen to. And if you found the video interesting, go and share it with your friends. Tag your friends who might find it interesting. And see you on the next video.